So this is uh, Ubuntu on the phone, right? So um, it, it's it, it's the core of Ubuntu, and the interface now is optimized for um, for the phone. And what you see over here is, well, first of all, a uh, personal visualization of your data uh, without revealing any private data. It's like a very nice personal touch to, uh, uh, to the welcome screen. And the other important thing that you see is that there are no buttons. So there's no hard key buttons, no soft key buttons that are there all the time. The interface basically is designed around the edges. So the user can interact with the phone by using all four edges, and every edge is um, used for a different purpose. So for example, on the left side, I have the long, uh, launcher where I can put my favorite apps. Are we, are we noticed that many users use maximum 10 apps very frequently and it allows much easier and faster access points to those apps, right? So I also have a home, so I can go, go to the home and basically by that I also unlock the phone, right? So over here there is the home screen with my frequent apps, my, my missed calls, my contents. Um, I go to the apps over here, which, is, which shows all my apps now and also my running apps. Uh, I go to the other side, people, which, which is an aggregated view of my, uh, my contacts and my social contacts. And over here I see my music, music stores where I want to buy music. And any other size videos as well. So um, I can launch the app now from the left side. And over here you see, uh, for example, the gallery app, which is a native app. So we both, Ubuntu both have native and web apps. So for example, Facebook is a web app. Uh, and the gallery is native now, right? So they're equal citizens on Ubuntu. So when you look at the app now, one of the core principles behind it is that we didn't want to obscure the interface with all kinds of controls all the time. We re re really give the prominence to the content. So when a user starts scrolling, all, basically all the, all the controls go away. When I go back, the header comes back, right? So I can change to a different view, uh, to events, for example. When I start scrolling again, it goes away. See? When I, for example, open um, open picture, so for example, I can open this picture, right? And I want to do something with the picture. Initially, I don't see it, um, any controls. When I want to do something with the picture, I can use the bottom edge for that. So for example, I can edit the picture if I want to, and also share the picture if I want to, uh, or go back, right? And the other uh, important thing is that uh, what, what we saw was that many people, uh, when they're using apps, sometimes they want to go into settings. Uh, and in, on many uh, platforms, they have to go to back to the home screen, go to the settings menu, deep dive into that. And we thought it has to be, there has to be an easier way of doing that. And that's basically what the top edge does. So the top edge basically allows me to fa fastly drill down into um, a specific settings menu. So for example, the battery or net or network, for example, right? So I can bring it back up. I can go to battery as well. So basically, you on the top settings when you when you bring it down, like almost like a notification, but you can uh, toggle through uh, a couple of all your, all your settings. Exactly, exactly. So every single settings you can toggle. Through. Exactly, okay. exactly. And it also allows me, so for example, messages as well. We also have messages there, and I can aggregate a few of my messages. So for example, call back. Uh, or apply to messages, if I bring it back up again, I'm immediately back into my app. Yeah. Right? So it's a much faster way of navigating around. Um, so that's the, the top edge, and uh, basically what we also did uh, was using the right edge for switching very fast between apps. So for example, when I go to camera, right, I can take a picture of this beautiful carpet, <laughs> right? Yeah. and I took a picture now. If I go back now, with the right edge swipe, I go back to the gallery, and it should show my picture there, right? Picture, oh, I don't like the picture, deleted, right? Delete now. There you go. Back. So I can use the left edge to go to an app, this is the right edge to go back to my previous app. Okay. Right? So over here. And it's the home screen again. So is there, is there a multi, like a, a multi tax function uh, functionality within Winter for applications? So you know, like having. Uh, uh, a notification center where I can see all my open applications. Right, so uh, my open applications I see of, uh, on the app space, oh, okay. for example. The messages, so for example, uh, web apps like Facebook, for example, are completely integrated into the platform, okay. e even, though it's, even though it's a web app. And we have that integrated, for example, in the messages over here, right? Nice. So there you go. So for example, I also have some, uh, let's see if Miss calls I see there, and also Facebook, Facebook messages. messages. Exactly, and also when you go, for example, to the people lens, go here. I have Facebook status update as well, so okay. it's, so it's all integrated, right? Yeah, it's very good.
Uh, and now, what device is this running on? This is the Galaxy Nexus. Oh, okay, so, and now what device is like, what are the minimum specs to run Ubuntu on it? So, um, Ubuntu goes pretty low, basically. So, we, we cover both uh, the low and high ends, oh, right? Okay. So, low ends, we talk about like uh, uh, a bill of material of maximum $100 at the moment. Okay. So, that's uh, I think 512 oh, max, right. exactly. And uh, a single core processor? Uh, dual core, dual I think. Core, yeah, dual yeah. Dual but uh, when Ubuntu is like launching, which we expect this year, dual core will be like low end. Okay, so you expect already. this year, no exact time frame. Uh, and probably multiple carriers or multiple manufacturers. That's what we're hoping for, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Good, thank you.